my father I blunt. No. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We here with the one and only sight with the motherfucking mic. You gonna feel my mic? You feel all that shit. It's a block original. Good. Word. All right, buddy. So down. I done heard a little bit about you. There's got to be some kind of outlet that you use, right? Like a lot of people listen to music and recite the artist words, but I know that you are an artist, so I, I know that one of your outlets got to be music in your own way. So tell me, tell me a little bit about that shit right there, bro. Okay, so everything I write about actually happens. You know what I'm saying? I don't write about um, guns and drugs and big booty holes. I don't write rap about that shit. I ain't knocking nobody for rapping about that shit. Everybody's got their own flow. You know what I'm saying? But, um, hold on. Like I said, I ain't knocking nobody for, like, you know, their own flow. Everybody got their own flow. I write music because anything that happens to me, it inspires me to write the music. You know what I'm saying? And it helps me get through my struggles every fucking day. You feel me? Um... One of my uh, one of my songs is D Row, uh, and it's uh, based off of Dorchester Row. It's used to where I used to stay at and stuff. Um, I used to stay with an ex. You know, it was a bad situation. It was a bad situation. You know, long story short, I already talked about that. Um, but yeah, um, that song D Row. If you listen to it clearly, actually listen to it now. Don't just bob your head to it like you something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Listen to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to understand the music. You know, it's not enough to just listen to it. You got to understand it. You got to actually understand it. You got to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Within you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's my life story. Um, that song, if you listen to it, that's what everything that I was going through at that time, I wrote about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it gave me the inspiration to write about that shit. And uh, a lot of everything, like everybody does a lot of dirty shit to me. You know what I'm saying? So, um,. They do a lot of dirty shit to me. And it just keeps giving me more ammunition to write fucking songs. Like, are you fucking stupid? Um, so you done been, been beat down in your soul before, but you always, you pretty much say you will come back from that shit regardless of, of what you put your ass in. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce back no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can push me down, you can beat me, you can take from me, but you know, one thing you're not gonna take is my dignity. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm dedicated to getting shit done, you know, cause when I get my mind uh, focused on one thing, I, I'm, I'm, I overachieve, you know what I mean? I, don't, I just don't stop until I get it, you know what I'm saying? Right, that's what's up, bro, so damn, everybody should have, I mean, Eminem had that lose yourself, you talk about that shit. The first song I heard from me was that d roll and I hear that shit now and it gives me goosebumps, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I just know anybody that's been through anything like that can be able to relate. And a lot of a lot of your music is relatable because you know you talk about shit with a purpose. You know what I'm saying? You talk about like um like I know that you have one recent song where it's got that tag on it. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. You know what I'm saying? And I and I know you took that shit serious. You wanna talk about that one there? Yeah, that's um that's uh, cruel intentions. Um, basically that song is about um you gotta look. You gotta listen to learn, you know what I'm saying? You pay attention to people because not everybody's your motherfucking friend, your family, you know what I'm saying? Family can be the first ones to hang you out to drive. Friends can too, you know what I'm saying? Trust yourself and trust God, you know what I'm saying? That's really what all I'm gonna tell you to do, man. Um, so what, what does that title mean to you? Like, what, what gave that title to that song? Cool all right, so I used to, I watched this movie when I was a kid. It's called Cool Intentions. Um, a lot of you might have seen it. It's uh, based about this, um, this guy and this girl, it's his uh, sister-in-law, I'm not gonna get into details. They would trick people into like, you know, girls into doing you know, things with a guy and then they record them, you know what I'm saying? You know, they would record them into doing it and that's how they get them. This is like a rich type thing, you know what I mean? Like I said, it was all about cool intentions, you know what I'm saying? And um, so like at the ending, the guy wants to repent for that and he want, he's trying to fall in love with this girl. Before he gets to it, he gets hit by a car, you know what I'm saying? Um, long story short, Cruel Intentions is like doing something to somebody um, in, 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 in a sinister way, you know what I'm saying, in an like evil from way. The beginning, like, for, like from the beginning, the other person's intentions are... Yeah, not a lot of people have a lot of um, secret agendas. That's why I say a lot of the times don't trust nobody, because um, everybody's got their own agenda, you know what I mean? Um, Rather it be love, rather it be trying to take something from you, rather it be uh, riding your dick for fame, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want. Um, 
Cruel Intentions to me, that song gave me because, like I said, I grew up with a lot of people doing me dirty. So I pay. I started to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? I started to see people for who they really are. You know, my third eye completely opened, and uh, people couldn't bullshit me no more. They couldn't be like narcissistic and um, um, gaslight me into thinking that I was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody, like I said, is uh, out the root for you. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's out to be your cheerleader. Some people are there to see you fall. You understand? And um, always remember that when you're trying to achieve your goal in life, whatever you, whatever it is, you know, music, um, being an artist, being a chef, what, whatever it is. I, I, don't, I don't know what, whatever you people want. But um, you got any more questions? <laughs> Honestly, from what I know about you, the music speaks for itself, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of things we could have got into detail about, we didn't, but I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, I'll see you again. So ladies and gentlemen, sight with the mic. We on the motherfucking block, exit 187 in Ridgeville. And just the talent that's coming out this shit, make sure that you follow sight with the mic on anything, any platform that you see. Everything coming out soon. D-Road, Cruel Intentions, and I know that you got another one or two I've heard, bro, but... We gonna keep that. We yeah, can't yeah, give yeah. all the kids a present. Can't yeah. give all the kids a present. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Tune in again for the next go round. Cut the band, man. Host of everything, Liddy. That's what it is. Might get it. They follow. I'm messing.